If you're a second baseman, this is the last how to play second base video you're ever gonna have to watch. Just like last week's video on how to play shortstop, I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know about how to play second base, from positioning, to double plays, to cutoffs, and other little tips and tricks that are to help you elevate your game. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is your positioning with nobody on. Now, as a second baseman, we have the luxury of having a shorter throw, so we can play a little bit deeper on the grass. Now, straight up positioning would be probably right in the middle of second base and first base. We can cheat a little bit this way if it's a righty. We can cheat a little bit this way if it's a lefty. It all depends on what you wanna do. So right on the edge of the grass, a little bit more towards second base for a righty, right in the middle of second base and first base for a lefty. So if there's a runner on first base, we're gonna move into what we call double play depth, meaning we're gonna take a few steps in and a few steps over towards second base now we do that because if we were to play where we would normally play with nobody on and we get a ground ball or the third baseman or the shortstop gets a ground ball there's no way we're going to get there quick enough to roll a double play so we cheat in and towards second base a little bit give up that four hole a little bit just so we can roll a double play so now let's talk about the double play footwork from second base now there's a few different ways we can play it now ideally we want to get to the base early put our left foot on the base okay give them a target we're going to step off with this right foot transfer Clear the base with our left foot, throw over to first base, make sure that we clear the runner, giving them a lot of room to slide. Now, another way we can play it. Now, this is if it's a hot shot to maybe third base or a hard hit ball to shortstop, and we don't have enough time to get there early to plant our foot, we're gonna come through the base. Okay, so what that looks like, we're on the run, we're gonna plant with our left foot, we're gonna come through, step forward with this right foot, transfer over to our left foot, make sure we clear the runner, over to first base, make sure that we leave a lot of room for the runner here. So you can get there early, quick like that, or if we're on the run, come through like that. Now it's really important that you always give them a target. You wanna have your hands up here for a couple reasons. One, give them a target. Two, you're a lot quicker going from here to here than if you're just going up like this, transferring it down here and going like that. With double plays, it's usually bang, bang. So every advantage that we can get by being quick is gonna help us. So now let's talk about cutting that run off at home. Now, if it's late in the game, it's a close game, there's a runner on third base, we're gonna cut off the run by playing infield in. Now, basically where we wanna play is right on the edge of the grass, right in between second base and first base. Once we get a ground ball hit to us, we're gonna check that runner and then go to first. Now, if he stays put, we're gonna go over to first. If he breaks home, we're gonna go home. Now, if he's caught in no man's land, he's kind of in the middle, doesn't really know what he's doing, we're gonna grab the ball and we're gonna run at him and make, force him to make a decision. And ideally, you wanna throw ahead of the runner because you'd rather have him go back to the base than him score that run. Now, let's quickly talk about holding this runner on at second base. Now, obviously, we're not gonna hold him on like a first baseman. What we're gonna do is make sure that he knows that we're there by keeping him close. Okay, he's gonna get as much as we give him. Now, if it's a lefty up, most likely the shortstop's gonna be doing this, but if it's a righty, we're gonna be doing this. So, so basically, he's gonna get as much as we're gonna give him. So if we're playing back where we would normally play second base, he has this much room to lead off. He's taking third base every time. So we have to make sure that he knows we're there. We're gonna come, give him a couple slaps, make sure that he knows that we're close. Once the pitcher goes into his windup, we're gonna break back, get into position to make the play. And if we're gonna pick him off, there's a few different ways that we can do this. Now, one is the easiest way. We can just do an open hand play. Now, what that means is we're gonna be holding him back, a couple claps. Once we break towards second base with our palm open like that, that's a signal to the pitcher to make a throw to the bag. So we're gonna run, open up our hand, he knows the pick, he's gonna throw at the bag, we're gonna come for the tag. Now the second play is a timing play. This is something that you have set up with your pitcher already, something that you've practiced, something that you've worked on. But basically it's gonna be a timing play, so when he comes set, you're gonna count it down. Once the countdown is over, you're gonna break to the bag, he's gonna turn and throw to the bag for the pickoff. So now when balls hit to the outfield, starting with left field, if it's a ground ball or a single to the outfield, we're always assuming that that runner is going for second base. So we're gonna line it up that way. So if it's hit to left field, the shortstop's gonna go for the cutoff man. We're gonna be at second base, lining the shortstop up between you and the outfielder. Now this is where we're gonna give him direction, okay? Now if the runner's going and the throw is on, we don't say anything, we just let the ball go. We're gonna let it bounce, we're gonna get here, we're gonna come down for the tag. Now if the runner's going and the throw is off, we're gonna say relay. Now what that means is the shortstop is gonna relay the throw over to second base for the tag. If that runner isn't going anywhere, we're just gonna say cut, cut, hold, the shortstop's gonna grab the ball and run it in. Now for balls hit the right field, the right center, we're gonna do the same thing that the shortstop just did. We're gonna go out there, we're gonna listen to him to give us the orders, either to leave it by saying nothing, we're gonna relay it, or we're just gonna cut and hold it. Now if it's a for sure double to the right field, the right field gap, we're gonna be out here to cut off to third base. So we're gonna get out there, we're gonna give him a big target. He's gonna hit us. When he does, 
we're gonna get up, make sure that we're moving our body as the ball's coming in, so that when we get the ball, we're already turning to make the throw. We don't just wanna be like this, catch it, come over here and crow hop. We wanna be on the move as the ball comes in to try to be as quick as we can. So for balls hit to the left center gap on a guaranteed double, we know this is a double, the guy's going for third base. Now we aren't gonna be stuck at second base, we aren't gonna be a double cut. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come about 10, 15 feet behind the shortstop. Now we do that just in case that outfielder air mails the shortstop, we can be right behind to finish the relay. Now if we're staying at second base and he misses this cutoff man, that runner's probably gonna go all around to score. Now if there's a runner on first base and it's a double to the gap, we know that that runner on first base is looking to score. So we're gonna line ourselves up in between the fielder and home plate and we're gonna be the cutoff man to home. Now if there's a runner on second base and it's a single to the outfielder, that runner on second base is gonna look to score. In that situation, the first baseman is gonna be the cutoff man, we're gonna go cut, cover first base. Now when it comes to bunt defense, there's a lot of different ways we can play this, but anytime the first baseman is crashing, we're gonna cover first base. If the third baseman is crashing, we're gonna cover second base as the shortstop covers third base. Now for fly balls, anything on this side of the field, we are in charge. If there's a fly ball in between us and the first baseman, we get charged if we can take it. If we hear the shortstop or the outfielders call us off, we give way to them. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your second baseman. If you wanna watch our last week's video on how to play shortstop, I'm gonna link it below and above, and I'll see you guys next week.